heart so full and bright Eyes forming in this year was again Oh, what a sight Look at the light All for tonight Hearts forming in this year was again Cool the range so they're just so Hearts forming in this year was again Gonna make some awesome snow Hearts forming in this year was again The chill wind blows Making a show So play Should all be wary As the mighty voices carry Heart's warming in this year once again Decorations we shall make Heart's warming in this year once again Perfection you just cannot fake Heart's warming in this year once again Not one mistake Don't let that break Oh goodness sake Heart's warming in this year Ready to celebrate your first heart-swarming eve here in Ponyville? I was thinking I might just skip it. <gasps> heart-swarming eve? I just find it all a little silly. It's mostly a day dedicated to presents and candy, isn't it? And why would you deny yourself presents and candy? That's crazy talk! I think what Spike means to say is, heart-swarming is about more than presents and candy. It's a time to spend with friends and family when we celebrate a very important day in Equestria's history. I think to most ponies, it's just an excuse for silly songs and fun. Not a day to remember some old story. <laughs> Maybe you just haven't heard the right Hearth Swarming Eve story yet. Earth ponies, Pegasi, and unicorns sing songs around a hearth to fight back an eternal winter caused by the mythical Windigos. <laughs> Every foal in Philly knows that story. Not that one. My favorite holiday story. A hearth swarming tale. Ooh, I love that one! This is the story of a powerful unicorn named Snowfall Frost, who hated hearth swarming Eve. It all began many moons ago in Canterlot. Every home in Canterlot was filled with holiday spirit. Every home, except one. It was said of Snowfall that she was almost as studied as Star Swirl the Bearded. Since every pony knows that Star Swirl was an expert at everything from transfiguration, dimensional calibration, teleportation. We get it. Star Swirl's awesome. Right. The point is, Snowfall was also a powerful unicorn. She wanted to be perfect. Anything that got in the way of that was a waste of time. Ugh. Well, that bath is ruined. Snow Dash! Snow Dash was Snowfall's loyal assistant. What do you need? Get this mess cleaned up. Those foolish ponies were ringing those blasted bells outside the window, and I lost my concentration. Whoa, ponies actually enjoying hearts warming Eve. Where did they get that crazy idea? Today is nothing to celebrate. Hearts warming Eve is a menace. A dangerous day for all of Equestria. Dangerous? It's awesome. It's the day we remember how unicorns, Pegasi, and Earth ponies came together in friendship to defeat the Windigos. That silly legend is the problem. Telling every pony that singing songs and being nice will solve anything. I've spent years studying magic, and that's not how it works. I think you might be missing the point. Work hard, learn, and use your skills to better Equestria. That's a worthy goal for any pony. But by all means, if you want to go home early, ignore all of the work you have and spend the rest... <sighs> I hate Hearts Warming Eve. All of Equestria would be better off if we just skipped the day altogether. Happy Hearts Warming, they say in the street. Happy Hearts Warming, they think they're so sweet. Words said so often that they lack any meaning. Why should I join in when I could be intervening? Every pony loves this cursed holiday, but would they be better with it out of the way? Well, oh, can't say goodbye to the
the holiday with my magic I'll erase it the greatest gift that I give today and every pony will have to face it no more a good run goodbye hearts warming it's over you're done finally set free from your forced celebrations no need to reply to your trite invitations calendar shorter by a single day is my magic up to the test time to see i can't deal Prepare the spell, no hesitation. All memory shall fade away. See a quest of new transformation. No more shall any pony say. Happy hearts warming. <laughs> A minute. Snowfall doesn't like heart swarming Eve, so she decides to cast a spell to get rid of it altogether? That seems a little extreme. Says the pony who tried to make every pony the same by replacing their cutie marks with equal signs. I think what Spike is trying to say is that every pony has their reasons for doing things, even Snowfall. And if I could continue the story, we might just find out what they are. Proceed. Snowfall was all set to cast her spell that would erase Hearthswarming Eve for all time when a voice from the hearth caught her attention. You sure you want to go through with this? <laughs> Who's there? The spirit of Hearthswarming past, that's who. And you and me have got to have us a little chat. A spirit? I didn't cast any spirit summoning spell. What are you doing here? You don't think a spell like that would get by without some powerful forces noticing. You've got our attention, Snowfall Frost. And we've got some pretty strong opinions on this spell of yours. We? They'll be along in a bit. For now, it's just you and me. Let's get a move on. We got a ton to see and barely any time to see it. I'm not going anywhere. I've got a spell to cast, and I don't need a history lesson about Hearth Swarming Eve. We aren't going to the past to learn about the holiday. We're going to learn about you. As a young thing, life sure is something. You go making choices large and small. It's always growing like a seedling and playing this like dreaming. And before you know it, big and tall. choice you make sends you down the path to who you are today so let's take a little trip down memory lane and see just what the past has to say oh look how cute you were looks like you're not too upset it's hard for me either the seeds of the past they grow pretty fast just look at who you are As they grow, look what they can show. Reveal the truth time and again. Just what do you think you're doing, Snowfall? Decorating the classroom for Hearts Warming Eve, Professor Flintheart. You said you wanted to learn to be a powerful unicorn, did you not? I do. And what is the way that one becomes a powerful unicorn? Mm -mm. Work hard, learn, and use your skills to better Equestria. And how do these help you to learn magic? I want to be strong enough to stop Wendigos and help ponies. 
That's just a story we tell, little ponies. Real magic takes time to learn. It's your choice. Spend your time learning to become a powerful unicorn, or play with your toys and make nothing of yourself. Then some distress, words so careless, standing there you don't know what to do. Feeling helpless, you can't make it hurt less, so you go and change your point of view. And in that moment, though you didn't know it, your defense is set up while you built to last. Leading to the pony you become today. We grow up so fast, some hurts never go away. The seeds as they grow, this we can't let go. I'll plant to this one holiday. What am I supposed to... Don't you mean present like the time? No! Toys, heartwarming doll, you want a cupcake? Fine, presents. All of the pointless things that ponies waste their time on. Oh, Snowball, it's not what the gift is that matters, it's what the gift means. It doesn't mean anything, it's just stuff. Exactly. Sometimes a cupcake means, I love you. Or a toy means, hi, how you doing? And sometimes a book means, your mane looks amazing. And sometimes a scarf means, usually means you look cold. That one's easy. I don't understand anything you're saying. What's happening to you? My spirit of hearts warming present sex is going off. That means that song is coming on. Take a look at everything. Around you all the smells are truly well. right? I was not. <laughs> so, what happens next? Well, the party was... Wait! Can we take a quick break? I need to refill my cocoa. Uh, fine. But hurry up! We're almost to the best part! <sighs> okay, I'm ready. The party was in full swing. Snow Dash! Hey, Mary. Well, whatever is the matter, darling? Was it the eggnog? Oh, I knew I put in too much cinnamon. Oh, no, the eggnog was awesome, Flutter Holly. I'm just mad at some pony who was complaining about how awful heartwarming Eve is. I don't suppose that pony's name starts with snow and ends with frost? 
She said heartwarming Eve is just an excuse to party, and we would all be better off spending time working to make Equestria a better place. No! What does Snowfall think a better Equestria looks like? Ponies working hard, learning, and using their abilities for the benefit of Equestria. <laughs> It looks like we've got everything on Snowfall's list right here. I think a perfect equestrian looks a lot like a horse one knee party. Me too! Too bad it's going to be the last one ever! 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 Spirit? What do you mean? What's going to happen? spirit of heartswarming yet to come. Are you here to show me what future heartswarming eaves are like? No, for there are no more heartswarming eaves for me to show. Why not? You will succeed in erasing the holiday as you wished. And what happens? I see a cold wind blowing through. I see days neither fun nor free. to more often. Our friends. Wow! Dragon toenail. Uh, thanks? I was in a hurry. I'll do better next time. <laughs> you kidding? No one's ever given me dragon toenail before? It's awesome! Now come get some eggnog! And from then on, it was always said of all the heart swarming Eve celebrations, Snowfalls was the heart warmingest. The end. Well, that's it. Thanks for letting me read you the story. Guess you can call it a night. Spike and I are heading downstairs, and if you wanted to, you'd be welcome to join us. Welcome to the party. Happy hearts warming, Starlight. Happy hearts warming, Twilight. Hearts warming Eve is filled with presents, some take you by surprise. A story shared by your good friends that makes your spirits rise. Sometimes you just let go of the past, enjoy the present while it lasts. And really it's not that much to ask, with good friends by your side. Now it's time to celebrate. Heartwarming Eve is here once again. All 
together feeling 